yes. to the show. Oh, gorgeous. Guys. Look at you. You look Hello. amazing. Amazing. Great. 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 I mean, I watch every day, and you know, I'll be like, "Oh, that's nice." I just told you I was eyeballing that. <laughs> they like it. my outfit, everybody. So I want to ask you right now. We just mentioned that your recent album features duets with your late husband, Notorious B.I.G. Why did you decide to do this now? Um, well, I was inspired to do the album back, well, to do something like this back when Natalie Cole did um, Unforgettable with her yeah. dad. Mm -hmm. And I remember telling Miss Wallace that that would be really great if I could do that one day. She said, you should. The fact that it is being released this year when this is a year with so many yeah. um, milestones, you know, like connected to Big, was really just how it ended up happening. Because I think I was saying for a while it would be out in 2015, 2016. But um, as we got into the end of last year and I didn't have Kim's feature, Lil' Kim's feature yet, which right. I knew I wanted to have. Yeah. Right. I'm like, well, you know, we just have to push back the date. So it just kind of ended up being this year. It wasn't planned. Well, we oh. thank you. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of magic though that it did because it is 20 years. Yeah. Since the time, time, like, passing. So it's kind of It's a been a long time, even though so much has... I guess because so much happened back then in such a short period of time. Mm -hmm. And maybe it's because of, like, the relationships as well that I've maintained with, like, all of Big's family and friends. It's like... You know, it's still the same. We talk yeah. about it and laugh at the same jokes as if he just told them yesterday, you know? Wow. <laughs> when you were recording this album, did you ever feel Biggie's presence? Um, you know what? I think it's fair to say that because of how the album just came together from the gate, like I didn't have a blueprint of how I was going to do it. It just came together so seamlessly that I have to say it was. But there was one time at toward the end of, the, of me recording that I just felt like, going around and telling all the people who were involved in the album, like, thank you, thank you. I said thank you to the last person, and I was like, oh, I think he just told me to do that. But oh, I mean, I really just, yeah. I felt like he tapped me on my shoulder because I was playing the music back and everybody was just enjoying it. And some people who weren't a part of the project were listening like, well, I didn't, when I heard about it, I didn't know what to expect, but just to see them really vibe into the music, I don't yeah. know, he just, I felt like he told me like, this is dope. And, wow, thank you. Know, love it. Where were you when you heard about the news? Um, when Big passed? Mm -hmm. We were actually at the same party that night. Oh. Um, and the, the, we had a really crazy rebelliousness toward one another. We were separated at the time, but our son was just a few months old. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we kind of ignored each other throughout the night in the party. Oh. And I have a song actually on the album that talks about it. And um, a few, about an hour, no, 30 minutes after I left the party, I saw Heavy D, rest in peace, who was a good friend of us both. And he said, I heard something happen. Because there was a, another party that we were all headed to. Okay. So I'm walking to this house in the hills to go to this other party, thinking I'm going to, you know, probably see him in there. And I ran to Heavy when he said something happened to Big. I immediately went to the hospital. And I could just tell that the looks mm -hmm. on everyone's faces that it wasn't a good outcome, you know? All right. But yeah, we were at the same party um, wow. that night, just kind of knowing each other that we were there. and. You know, I glance over at him and vice versa. He sent someone over there to check on me, but we just didn't quite right. say anything to each other that yeah. night. Wow. wow. Now, after Biggie's death, uh, you actually performed an emotional tribute to him at the 1997 MTV Music Awards. For me, this is hands down one of the most memorable mm -hmm. yes. moments in music yes. history. Yes. I will, I will never oh, forget God. being at home. I recorded it on VHS, played it back a million times. It's an incredible moment for music, and I'm sure it was an amazing <laughs> moment for you, but I understand you almost didn't do it. Well, I can't say that. I, if, it, if I had my way at the time, I, I, I didn't want to do it. Because when Puff came to me to record this song, he's like, I want to do the biggest tribute ever, and I want some of the proceeds to go to CJ and Tiana, and I was all in. Yeah. Not really thinking beyond that moment. Yeah. And once the song just blew up and became such a huge hit and it came time to perform it, I think that may have been the first real major performance. And mind you, he got Sting all in. And yeah. I was yeah. on the phone telling him I didn't want to do it. And I remember crying like, I don't want to do it. And by the time Puff got finished with me, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, those tears came. They turned into tears of like, I got to do this. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, it was incredible. He, he was like, listen. Hey, you might you might want to make a crazy decision with your career, but you're not about to do this. With my <laughs> <laughs> but it was it was my career as well, so I'm I'm glad that he 
I won't say coax, but he did. He coaxed me okay. into okay. doing it. I wanted to use a Pep better talks. word, a stronger a word. Moment. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm glad that it, it, it came off the way it did. I was so nervous though. I'm so sure you can tell. Oh a beautiful yeah. way of continuing your love story together, yeah. and that we all get to be a part of. So Thank that's you. something I want to say. Yeah. Thank you.